It's a case that shocked and disgusted ordinary Israelis, many of whom believed Moshe Katsav was guilty long before the verdict. Demonstrators thronged the courthouse, waving placards declaring his guilt and supporting a jail term. The former president has always maintained his innocence and said he was the victim of a witch hunt, but the judges instead accepted the evidence of the women he assaulted. Moshe Katsav was convicted of two counts of rape against a former female aide he'd employed while he was the tourism minister 12 years ago. The court heard he'd raped her twice, once in his office and another time at a Jerusalem hotel. He was also found guilty of sexual harassment and indecent acts against two other former staff. Women's groups welcomed the verdict as an important message for other victims. It's a very, very important message to all the rape victims in Israel that were abused by men in power, in positions of power, that they can file a complaint and that the, uh, the justice system and the legal system will do justice. The court is yet to set a date for sentencing, but with a minimum of four years for rape in Israel, it could be a lengthy jail term. I have no doubt that it will be sent for a considerable number of years to jail. The Iranian-born former president was once held up as a beacon of morality and a model for other disadvantaged Jewish immigrants from Arab nations. Now many see him as proof that all Israelis are equal in law and as a sign of the strength of Israeli democracy. Moshe Katsav is expected to lodge an appeal. Anne Barker, ABC News, Jerusalem.